Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the products that I think are absolutely amazing for the drugstore and they are all $10 or less. So this would be really great for somebody that's just starting to get into makeup and wanting to grow their collection but not spend an arm on a leg on stuff. And so I have at least one thing from every category. Um, some things I have more than one. Uh, yeah, but that's it. That's what today's video is. It. That's what today's video is going to be. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to go in the order of things on how I personally apply things to my face. So the first thing is primer. And I have this Makeup Revolution Pro Base Aqua Priming Base at Ulta for $10. And you can also use this to spray your brush if you're going to apply a shimmer shade and you want it to pop a little bit more. This can act almost like a fix plus. I really like this stuff and it's exactly $10. For an actual primer, this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And in my opinion, this says just as good of a job as the um, Benefit Professional does. I have both of them and I like them just the same. And I believe that this is either $9 or $10 and you can get this at Ulta or any drugstore, Target, CVS, Walgreens. It comes out translucent. And it's pretty silicone feeling. Here it is here. It's pretty silicone feeling and it's pretty tacky. And that's why I really like it because I can see my pores blurring as I'm rubbing it in. Next uh, is foundation. And I have three foundations that I absolutely love from the drugstore that are all under $10. So let's just go through them what I love from, you know, first, second, third. I'm just going to share all of them with you. I love one of them more than the other two, but I'll, you know, use all of them all of the time. And the first one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I have the shade Soft Beige. This foundation is $5.99, and you get one fluid ounce, which is standard for foundation, and it is such good coverage, and the only th complaint I would have is this spatula applicator, but you can't really complain too much because the foundation is literally $5.99. So they had to cut costs somewhere. So I understand that and it is cruelty free. So that's really good and Wet n Wild can be found at any drugstore and also at Target, Walmart, and Ulta. Today on my face, I used the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation with vitamins, broad spectrum SPF 20, and I have it in the shade 705 Ivory. Um, this does oxidize a little bit, I would say, so I would go a shade up than what you would normally use. And this foundation is, and so it's $10, and this can be found for $9.99 at Target. I believe it's $11.99 at Ulta, so I would recommend picking it up from Target if you are interested in this. And it has vitamins E, B3, and B5, so that's really good. And it says lightweight full coverage makeup. This formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 and it's oil free, which is really important if you have oily skin, you wanna reach for foundations that are oil free. And this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I use matte and poreless because I have oily skin, but they do also have one that's dewy and smooth. And I, I use that one more in the winter, but in the summer I stick with the matte and poreless and I'm in the shade 115 Ivory again. And I think that this one uh, oxidizes just a little bit too, not as much as the CoverGirl. So I would recommend either trying it on your hand if you can, or um, just go in a shade back from what you would normally get. Next is concealer, and this is probably this is probably my holy grail concealer. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have it in the shade 15 Fair, and this is $5.99 at Ulta. It's less than six bucks. It's really good. It's really comparable to Tarte Shape Tape. It's just not as full coverage as Tarte Shape Tape. And Tarte Shape Tape can be really drying on my under eyes. So a lot of times I put one little dot of Tarte Shape Tape and then um, the Maybelline Fit Me, you know, from here over. And that really helps it to not be so drying. 
but I really love the applicator on this. It's rather small, but it seems to get right under my eyes and helps me to control the amount of product that I'm putting on. So I really love this, highly recommend. Again, this is $5.99 at Ulta. A found favorite of mine is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Waterproof Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Cool, and this can be found obviously at Ulta and <laughs> this can be found for nine dollars exactly at Ulta and it has a little bit of a different um, applicator than the Maybelline Fit Me one does it's a little bit more flat as you can see but you can also control the amount of product that you're putting on your face pretty easily so I highly recommend this um, I have the shade light cool but I I had a little bit of a hard time. I bought Light Cool and also Light Warm. I've um, been using it for about a month and I highly recommend this one as well. Next is powder and I have two powders to share with you. I would have had three, but the Flower Beauty powder, I believe is like $17 now. I don't remember it being that expensive. They might have reformulated it and changed the price, but this is, the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and this is... $5.99 at Target. Target and Walmart probably are going to always be cheaper than Ulta, but then again at Ulta you can get the, you know, the $5 off $15 or the $2.50 off $15 or whatever they have, but anyway, this is the Maybelline Fit Me. It's a pressed setting powder. I have mine in the shade 125 Nude Beige. So what I'll normally do is go in with a loose setting powder under my eyes and anywhere that I crease pretty easily and then set the rest of my face with a pressed setting powder. I just think that that works best for me, but you know, everybody is different. So if, if something else works for you, then keep on doing it. And then this one is the Cody Airspun Powder and this is $5.97 from Walmart and you get so much in here um as you can see i mean i've had this for like six months and it's nowhere near i haven't even put a dent in it and it's very messy but it works really good i have mine in the shade translucent extra coverage 070 and this is awesome i highly recommend this if you're you know on a budget and you need a good loose setting powder this is the one that i recommend for bronzer, I only have one um, under $10 bronzer to share, and it is the Wet n Wild 739 Ticket to Brazil, and this is huge. I was trying to see. It's .46 ounces. This pan is ginormous, and this works really good. I have it on my skin today. You'll see it, you know, in the video overlay that I insert. It's very easy to blend but it's highly pigmented so you don't need to put a lot on your brush and yeah I love this and again it is three dollars and 97 cent at Target um, for under four dollars to get this big of a pan is really good and I sometimes struggle with bronzers because they can make me look really muddy really quickly since I am more on the fair skin side but this is also cruelty free and it's just a great option. Even if you aren't looking for something really cheap, you know, you're just looking for a good quality bronzer, I would still recommend this. It's still really good and I love it. Blush, I struggled a little bit with this because a lot of my drugstore blushes are like $12.99, $11.99, $14.99. So this is the only one that I can recommend to you that I actually like. And it is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. It's what I have on my cheeks today. It A lot comes up on your brush. So just don't put a lot on there. It's very pigmented. Just be careful because you can ruin your entire look with blush pretty quickly. And so this is what it looks like. It just comes in this small little... Thing. and then you do get a mirror here which is really nice they didn't have to include that and um, it is 0.12 ounces and this can be picked up at Target for $7.49 and so yeah $7.50 for a really good blush drugstore again it's going to be cheaper at Target than it will be at Walmart and yeah this is like this perfect everyday peachy pink 
light flush of color on your skin, easy to apply, easy to blend out, but you do need to be careful with how much you put on because if you put on too much, you know, less is more with this. And so, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Something that I have probably used five or six of. I don't normally fill in my brows, but I will run a brow gel through them just to kind of keep them in place and darken them and fill in just a little bit on the tail and this is the essence make me brow eyebrow gel mascara and this is two dollars and 99 cent at ulta you can't beat it i'll show you what the applicator looks like i believe they have two or three shades maybe just two shades i think they just have a light and a dark but this is what the applicator looks like really easy to use user friendly if you're just starting out on your brows i would highly recommend you pick this up and just kind of learn how your brow shape is and where you kind of need more coverage than other places and yeah this is you can't beat 2.99 for a really good eyebrow gel i have three highlighters to share i think the drugstore can do a really great job with highlighters and um at a really great price and so the first one is the wet n wild mega highlighting powder and i have it in the shade precious petals and this is four dollars and 99 cent at ulta it's what i have on my cheeks today it's gorgeous it's like a peaky a pinky peach shade um there it is on my hand right there it looks really good it's easy to apply it's not chunky it's very finely milled i think and pressed and so I think that it's great and it is what a wet and wild is cruelty free so if you are strictly cruelty free then this is safe for you next is this milani afterglow strobe light zero one and this is 9.99 so it barely makes the mark but i picked this up recently and i really do like it it's more of a champagne highlighter and that's what i tend to go for because i am fair skinned but if you are really dark skin, I don't know that this would flatter you very much. But there it is there. It's really pretty. And it in between my fingers and it's really buttery. The packaging though, it's like, can you go all the way back? <laughs> I wish that this would go all the way. You know, you see how it just stops right here. But, you know, this is the Maybelline Master Chrome metallic highlighter in the shade 100 molten gold and this is 7.99 at target i believe it's two or three dollars more expensive at ulta so i would suggest picking this up from target and this is stunning uh it's it's feels like a high-end highlighter it really does it feels very luxury um it goes on the skin it feels so buttery too just like the milani one they feel really similar but this is what it looks like there on the bottom and if you are fair skinned i know that putting this bright gold highlighter on your skin can seem a little bit intimidating but just go in with a light hand and really use a good blendable brush and it can look really stunning and yeah my only complaint is this again i wish it would go all the way back like this wet and wild one goes all the way what it does it too I don't understand that. Push it all the way back. Talk about are two different affordable um, companies. They are not drugstore companies. The first one is ColourPop. And these are just single shadows that I bought myself. And then if you buy four or more, they send you this. And I believe that these are $4 each. So yes, they are under $10. But could you create an entire palette for under $10? No. So I do want to share them with you. You know, they're not drugstore. They're really great quality. I have tons of these and also Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Makeup Geek eyeshadows are my favorite single eyeshadows. And this is another one of just random shades that I put together. Um, they're either 4 or $6. I believe that they're 4 I Actually, ColourPop, sometimes I think they go on sale and they're $3. So, you know, you could get three shades for $9 and then, of course, you have to pay for shipping. But I did want to include it because they are so affordable and you can literally pick whatever color you want. So, not all of these are Makeup Geek or ColourPop. A couple of them are Anastasia. But, for example, this is my absolute favorite um, transition shade. It's just a neutral brown shade. And this is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Frappe. And then I have one of my favorite shimmer shades for all over the lid. And this is the ColourPop 
shimmer this is the ColourPop Shimmer Eyeshadow in Liar Liar. It's a really gorgeous pink champagne shade. One of my more unique shades that I really do use quite often is the Makeup Geek Chickadee Eyeshadow. It's like a burnt yellow shade. I really like it. Okay, moving right along, I have one eyeliner to share with you, and it is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. This is my all-time favorite eyeliner. Holy grail. I will buy this over and over and over and this is exactly ten dollars you can get this for ten dollars at ulta um it's literally ten dollars not even 9.99 so it is right on the edge of not making it but i have it in black and it is a felt tip eyeliner i absolutely love it it's so black it never bleeds it goes over shimmer eyeshadows very easily highly recommend this essence has some really good um makeup products they have some really good lip liners as well this is the false lash effect mascara and it is just that it is so good it's 4.99 give it a shot it's really black and it is a little bit more of a wet mascara so just be careful you know looking up and down after you apply it so just to let it dry completely but highly recommend love this mascara the next mascara is this l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara i have mine in the shade black brown but this is seven dollars and 49 cent from target and uh, it to me, this is an exact dupe of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my all-time favorite mascara. But this, the wand is just so similar that that's why it reminds me of that. But this is still a really good option. I have mine in brown, but I meant to get it. I have it in black brown, but I meant to get it in black. But anyway, that's not a major deal. I love this. Very affordable. Really lengthens and volumizes your lashes just like it says. Highly recommend. I have one, two liquid lipsticks because that's just mostly what I wear. And the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Plum Bomb. And it is $7.99 at Target. I'll just put it right here. It's really pretty for fall. They have tons of shades. So I just have two shades, but I just wanted to show you Plum Bomb. There it is right there on my hand. It's really pretty. These dry, once they dry down, they're not going anywhere. They don't feather. They don't bleed. They, you know, they don't bleed outside your lip lines. They're really good. They don't feel like the desert on your lips and you can eat and drink. They're pretty transfer proof. Highly recommend. I love them and I have two shades and I want to get more. And then last but not least to wrap up the video is this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. And I have all the shades, but this particular one is in Give Me Mocha. And these are $4.99 at Walmart. Um, where can I put this? Just put it right here. This is more of a rich brown color. My lights might wash it out just a little bit. The doe foot on this makes it really easy for application and really easy for you to not get outside the lines. And that right there is what the shade looks like. It's more of a orangey brown color. It's really pretty for fall. And I have every single one of these. I'm wearing them all the time. Rebel Rose is my favorite one. And then the red one also is my favorite. But I highly recommend these because they're $5. And this tube, you know, is going to last you forever if you don't wear it all day, every day. But they do break down a little bit quicker than the uh, L'Oreal ones do, just being honest. But they do last a long time. They look beautiful on the lips. And once they do start to wear off, they don't wear off so crackly and crumbly like the ColourPop mattes used to. I think ColourPop has since changed their formula. But before, when they would start wearing off, it would just look awful and you would just have to remove it, you know, instead of being able to just touch it up in a couple of places. But that's all I have for you. I hope that this helped you somehow if you are, you know, even just on a budget and you want some really good quality makeup on a budget, you don't have to go spend $50. You really don't. There are really good high quality products in the drugstore for a fraction of the price. And let me know down in the comments other products that you, you know, recommend from the drugstore that are under $10 so other people can see some more options if they don't think that I had enough. I will leave everything linked down below. I'm going to try to link it where it is the cheapest. So if you do want to purchase it through the link, it will be the cheapest where you can find it, you know, for the better price. Target and Walmart are probably going to be the two cheapest places to find these products. Ulta just 
seems to be the most expensive one. I'm not sure why. But anyway, that wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it really makes my day. So, yeah. I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. It's only just begun.